I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. All right. Oh my goodness. Smile. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it in just a second, but like in the movie, the sound of music, we gotta start at the very beginning. Where did it all begin for you in movies? Is it something you watched on television at home? Something like a horror movie? What, where did it all begin? Yeah, I, I grew up with movies in a big way. My dad was a cinephile and was, you know, showing me movies as a kid. And uh, I found that I really love genre films and, and horror movies and practical special effects and all of that stuff. And I think, uh, it was just part of my DNA as a kid, and here we are. <laughs> what, what was the first camera you picked up and shot your first home movie on? Oh, it was some sort of little, like, mini camcorder when I was, you know, just shooting in order and just editing in the camera. And so Smile wrote, directed. Tell me where that concept came up. Was it a dream? Was it? Uh, so it all started really with, with a short film called Laura Hasn't Slept that I had made, um, which was sort of the springboard for all of this. But I'd say where that all started was just this feeling of kind of panicky doom that something was coming after you that you couldn't really understand. And it's kind of this, this unknown evil coming for you. And I think I might have talked with you yesterday, but what is the best recipe for an uncomfortable smile like in this movie? Because <laughs> they talk about, like, it's not a smile that's a happy thing. It's something that's like a creepy smile. So what do you think that recipe is to make that uncomfortable smile? Yeah, I think the smile's got to be too wide, showing too many teeth, and just sort of, like, frozen in kind of rictus there, uh, uncomfortably long. But for me, I think the real secret is in sort of the... Uh, the dead, lifeless eyes that are kind of piercing into you. A uh, serious question right now. Are you, how big of a fan of Alien 3 are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I like Alien 3, and I think it's, uh, I think it's unfairly maligned. Okay, all right. I because there's a moment in the movie where it was like an Alien Three shot, the drool, like, and I was like, "Yes, that's in there." So I love that. Yes, I, I'm I, glad I, you picked I, up on that. I, I caught that, and I was like, "Well, he knows what's going on." Yeah. Uh, practical effects, big practical effects. I saw lots of like the good Sam Raimi gore in here. Is there a moment on the set that you remember? Is like, oh, all the practical effects are coming together. I remember this specifically. Yeah, there is a uh, money shot deep in the film um, that was something that uh, had started as a, as a very strong image in my brain early on that eventually became a piece of concept art that bringing that to life was uh, an enormous logistical challenge, but I always knew I wanted to use practical effects. I loved them so much. And, um, and seeing that come to life on set was sort of uh, a pinch me moment. And the entire crew was gathered around just in disbelief at the... Uh, genuine movie magic we were creating. Uh, do you have a most thrilling moment in film, both as a director and as a fan? Ooh, wow, most thrilling moment. Yeah. Um, I remember like one of the things early on as a kid, uh, you know, The Shining for me is just, is one of my all time favorite films. And uh, when Jack Torrance uh, is, you know, axing down that door. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. I don't know if I have ever felt fear like that as a kid, and that imprinted on me forever. So I'd say, um, I mean, from front to back, The Shining is terrifying, but uh, that moment in particular. That moment? Yeah. And that was as a fan and as a director? As a director, uh, I mean, the most thrilling moment, honestly, on set is when something uh, that is a big logistical challenge that has all these moving parts that, you know, your praying goes right when you pull that off and you get it in camera and it's yours and no one can take it away. Um, that's about as big of a thrill as it gets as a director. Great, great. My last question. You're a cinematic aficionado. It shows in Smile. Thank you. Is there a particular scene in a movie that's always stuck with you that helped shape your creative life? Hmm. That's a, that's a really good question. Um, you know, I think, uh, can I go back to that scene from The yeah, Shining? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, for sure. You know, for, for me, again, like, it, that movie's, like, working on, like, a psychic level. It's showing you images that just burn into your brain and... Um, 
I think seeing that at a young age severely shaped me. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Go, go, huh. What is it you like to talk about? My patient. Hi. I know you're nervous. I just want to have a chat. I'm seeing something no one else can see except for me. It's smiling at me. Yesterday, a patient in your care died brutally in front of you. I need to find an explanation for what happened. It's smiling at me. It's smiling at me. cases involving 19 victims with a direct line linking them all together. You said only 19. Why is it that everybody else who's seen it is dead and you're alive? I've seen it too. You? Get her away from me! How long between each victim's death? None of them survived longer than a week. Today is my fourth day. I am not gonna keep running. I have to face it. How does it make you feel? I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen.